Corey just mentioned, all of these problems, wet roadways, high winds, reduced visibilities. There's a lot of problems out there. There was some debris in the roadway that folks were running over, and that's slowing things down as well. Today's drive is going to require 100% of your attention. Please focus on what you're doing today. If you have to be out and about in this activity, the heaviest of the rain appears to be moving through the area. We're getting ready to come to a close here because the heaviest of this rainfall has moved off to the east and the, I have a couple of isolated stronger storms that are still across northeastern portions of Shelby County, Arlington, Galloway, Hickory with Oakland, uh, Mormon powers between now and about 823. Again, some isolated heavier showers there and we also have a few heavy showers continuing across southeastern portions of Shelby County as well, but they're kind of outside of the loop and when it comes to the whole overall time frame, the tornado watch box, the greatest intensity, the greatest potential for tornadoes today will be down to our south. We have seen some spin ups in our area. We still have this little area right here. That is going to be that severe thunderstorm warning that we mentioned to you until 745 for about another five minutes. Then it's going to pop up off the screen here. That means the potential for the high winds are continuing in that area. But when I show you on Storm Tracker 3S, you're going to get a better idea of this activity that was very powerful powerful once it moved across the river, but it has broken down considerably as it's getting ready to move into eastern portions of Tipton County as well as into western Fayette County coming out of DeSoto over on into Marshall tip of Benton County over the next half hour to 45 minutes. I like to stop this for you and we'll zoom in a little bit, give you a better view of where the heaviest of that activity continues. This is just across northeastern portions of Shelby County, and this is really the heaviest part of the storm that I've been able to find Arlington Galloway County. Canyon Grove and Braden and uh, and then down to the south a little bit. We also have a few heavier showers as well, but it's nothing like what we've seen before. We're not seeing any rotation on these storms as they're coming across the area, but we do have that potential for those high winds and the heavy rainfall and the reduced visibility. So when you download the Storm Tracker 3S uh, weather app, the WRG weather app, you're going to be seeing some of that rainfall across the area. So let's keep all of this in mind as you're making your plans. You're thinking, okay, I think the storm's have passed by. We should be able to be okay to get out. Most of us are doing pretty good, but the roads are indeed going to be wet across the area. Corey has mentioned to you many of the problem areas that you'll want to avoid. Even though the winds are not gusting to the point of severe thunderstorm warnings, we do have 20 and 30 mile an hour wind gusts to be expected throughout the course of the day. We have a couple of days here where we're going to be dealing with those strong winds, and you can see that by 3 o'clock this afternoon, we have a much stronger west wind at 20 to 30 miles an hour. And that's why when you were watching Jake earlier, he was showing you how temperatures are quite mild this morning. We're in the 50s. They're going to drop all the way down into the 30s for your rush hour a little bit later this afternoon in this evening. So that is something else to keep in mind is your wardrobe selection as well. Updated from the Severe Storms Prediction Center now showing the enhanced risk of severe weather across northern portions of Mississippi with those high winds and uh, there's a slight chance of hail. I just haven't seen much hail with these storms and some isolated pockets of flooding when the roadways and those drainage systems kind of get a little bit overwhelmed with these storms as they move through the area. If there's any good news, it looks like once this line moves across the area, conditions are going to begin to improve. Jake, they're not going to be perfect, but they're going to be improving throughout the day, and I guess we can start planning and preparing and getting ready for that big Arctic blast that's going to be coming into the area Sunday night. But we're getting ready to wrap things up here in the next couple of minutes as that latest severe thunderstorm warning expires, and I really have a feeling that they're probably not going to continue that uh, much beyond Shelby County. Yeah, I think they're going to hold off for now because they did note that it looks like the severe threat is starting to kind of wane down a little bit. Let's not let our guard down completely yet, but it looks like things are at least improving on that front. We'll have to continue to watch everybody in northeastern Mississippi for maybe a couple more isolated severe storms, but we're looking better now in the heart of the Mid-South as the worst of the weather is again quickly moving off to the east. There's some really nasty storms down towards Jackson, Mississippi, several tornado warnings there. I think all of that energy is kind of soaking up, uh, kind of sucking up all the energy that we could have used for a more prolonged severe threat, but perhaps those storms down in the south are going to help to wane our severe threat and kind of cut off a lot of that moisture that could be inflowing into the mid south. So as Todd said, the next big thing is 
the cold that comes in after these storms. So they're in kind of t-shirt like weather ish this morning with that raincoat on and the, and the umbrella. But by the end of the day, we're talking about, you know, heavy winter coats and jackets and all the above because temperatures are going to go from near 60 to about the 30s, low 30s this evening, uh, Todd. And, you know, winds are going to be strong, like you mentioned. So wind chills, 20s, teens, and then, yep, then we're talking about snow by the end of the weekend. And so early next week. A lot on going on. <laughs> there certainly is. Okay, so to wrap things up for everybody, it has been a very busy morning. As you can see behind Jake right now, we still have Storm Tracker 3S keeping a very close look at the line of showers and thunder showers. And on Max 2, you're going to see that the tornado watch box continues across the area, but that's severe thunderstorm warning that we mentioned for Shelby County and portions of DeSoto County. It's going to go off right now. And so now that that's gone, we're going to go ahead and go back to regularly scheduled programming. But remember, we are here. We are monitoring this very carefully. If anything changes, if we get any more warnings or any updates of any severe weather outbreaks, we're coming right back on the TV. So please be careful throughout the day. Jake and I will be watching. We're back to regular programming. Thanks for joining us this morning here on News Channel 3. Great.